Hi and welcome back. Hopefully by now you've completed the uh, first worksheet and you're ready to move on to learning more about the JavaScript language. So, so far we looked at tools and we looked at, more specifically, how we use cloud-based tools like Codeo and Git to manage our code effectively. And we've looked at a range of tools built into the, the Chrome Developer Tools package, which allows us to debug and monitor our applications. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is the JavaScript language. And uh, JavaScript uh, has a bit of a bad press. A lot of people say it's a bad language. The problem is it's not a bad language, it's just a very different language. You're probably used to working with object-oriented principles in Python or C++. JavaScript is not an object-oriented program in languages. Uh, it has objects, but it doesn't have classes or inheritance as we know them. We're going to, JavaScript uses what we call object literals. You can create properties, <coughs> but they're not inherited properties. You can just attach properties wherever you want to. So it's a flexible language, but it doesn't work in the same way as the traditional object-oriented languages. More importantly, JavaScript is a functional programming language, or more specifically, it supports the programming, the functional programming paradigm. In other words, it supports something called lambdas. And a lambda is a function which behaves like a variable. So just as you can pass a variable as a parameter to a function, for example, you can pass a function as a parameter to a function. And just as in a function can return a variable, in functional programming, a function can return another function. So we can throw functions around and make use of them in a much more powerful way than we can with, say, Java, Java, or C++, or Python. And because of this, we have two sorts of functions. You're, you're covering named functions and anonymous function. You'll be attaching functions as properties of objects. You'll be building methods for objects. And you'll be exploring a whole range of, a whole range of the, job, of, of the uh, core functions and objects within the JavaScript language. So your next job is to fire up the second worksheet, which is called Language, and have a go at the exercises. Make sure you complete all the exercises, which should take you about an hour. And when you finish the exercises, I'd like to watch the concepts video that goes alongside of this. Okay, so go ahead and have a go at the worksheet.